There's a lot of debate following the successful case launched by the GMB against Uber in defining who's self-employed, who's a worker. As far as I'm concerned, I work for Uber. You have an app on your phone, and when you switch on that app, it then allocates jobs to you on the basis that you are the nearest person to that job. The key issue for the Uber drivers is the money. The money is too low. Uber drivers are being paid less than minimum wage now. We have no choice in setting the rates, none at all. As rates are dropped, drivers are having to work longer and longer hours. In terms of the percentage taken by Uber of my earnings, they take 20%. And Uber's got that Uber pool, they ride sharing out. Uber takes 35% of that fare. Reduce it to 10%. You are a company valued at $62 billion. My vehicle costs in excess of £10,000. You've got to pay for the driving license, the TFN license, which together is about £500-£600. I've got to do that my running of my car, my clothes which I wear, which I've got to dry clean, and the fuel, insurance, the MOTs. Cleaning the vehicle, tax, national insurance, subsistence during the day, parking fees, mobile phone bills. Wear and tear, accidents. I reckon I'm doing about £5 an hour. I don't get no holiday pay, sick pay or any pension, not, not at all. If you refuse two jobs in succession, Uber switches you off the device. If someone complains about it after you've done the job, they, take the, they deduct the money from you. And it's almost like a kangaroo court because there's no appeal. The imposition of the English language test has not been thought through because it's going to apply to each and every driver who is a private hire driver in London. Uber has 30,000 drivers signed up. But outside of that, I understand that the licenses issued to drivers by Transport for London has increased from 60,000 to about 100,000 plus. That is clearly too much. What we have found Uber doing is being a little less than socially acceptable by allowing drivers to be licensed in London and maybe driving up in Leeds or Manchester. To make things equal across the piece for large companies like Uber, and small minicab companies is you say, look, this is the minimum fare that you can charge per mile or per hour so that it levels things out. Uber is using us as a sword to defeat the minicabs and to defeat the black cabs. Make sure we get our holiday pay and our pensions and all everything that comes with it. As I said, I've been doing that three and a half years and I think I'm, I'm worse off than when, when I first started. As automation is increasing in pace, more and more roles are going to be similar to that of Uber and Deliveroo and so on. We're going to be asking every MP to, to back a private member's bill and if that goes according to plan then we can maybe change the legislation that we have.